right, welcome back to the Recon NG version 5 series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the syntax, uh, what has changed, and how to get you accustomed to the new environment. All right, so once you've launched a Recon NG, you can see that uh, similar to version 4, you have your, your default workspace name here. All right, so if we use the tab auto completion, you can see we have the various options that we can start with, right? So you have your database, you have the ability to go back, you can exit, you can also launch the help command. So let, let's start off with that. Let's start off with the help command. So the help command gives you uh, a list of all the commands that you can run uh, from this uh, current, uh, in this current state. It gives you what uh, information in regards to what that command does. So again, uh, for example, for the dashboard, it gives, it displays a summary of your activity. So if we run a dashboard here and we can use the auto completion, which is great, and we hit enter, you can see that I've used this before and it gives me a summary uh, of all uh, my activity. So all the modules that I've used, which I'll show you how to use, I've been testing it quite extensively and it truly is a fantastic tool. So it gives you a, a summary as well. Uh, so in regards to the domains, the ports, the hosts uh, you, you've been working with, uh, and of course that is sorted out into the category and the quantity. So that's the dashboard. Let's go back into the help menu. All right, now with your database, again, this will interface with the workspaces database that you're currently dealing with. So before we take a look at the database, let's take a look at creating workspaces. So again, if I go right over, you can see workspaces, this allows you to manage workspaces. So the syntax is very simple. So we can say workspaces, and again, we can use tab auto completion. And if we uh, use a double tab, you can see we can create, we can delete, we can list, and we can select uh, workspaces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, uh, let's list the workspaces we currently have. Now in the database, you can see we have only one workspace, which is default. So if you want to create one, all we type in is workspaces, create and the name. So we can create a test name like recon and we hit enter and it will now switch on into the new uh, workspace here. So again, if we type in workspaces, uh, list and I hit enter, you can see it now tells us we have two workspaces, we have default and recon. If I want to go back to the default workspace, I can say workspaces, uh, select and I specify the name, so I can say default and we can go back into default. Now if I want to delete a workspace, I can say workspaces, uh, delete and I specify um, the name, so I can say let's delete the recon uh, workspace and I hit enter and there we are. So again, we can list it one more time just to show that all the options we specified were working. So that's, uh, you can see how simple it is. It becomes very intuitive and the, the ability to use auto completion or tab auto completion is extremely powerful. So uh, let's go back into the help menu. Let's talk about the database, right? So the, if we type in DB and we use the double tab, you can see we can query or we can query the database. We can insert and delete uh, entries uh, or data into it. So uh, if we take a look at the, the current schema, which is what we're working with right now, and we hit enter, you can see how the data is stored in various tables. Right now, I'll be going through the database in its own video because it's very important. And you know, it's very important in regards to how you store the data and how you can use the data to generate reports. So you can see we have domains, that's the domains table. You have the companies table. Um, you then have net blocks, uh, locations, vulnerabilities, ports, hosts, uh, contacts, uh, credentials, leaks, etc., etc. All the tables that would store all the relevant information, regardless of whatever module you end up using, right? So what I can do is if I just say DB, right, and uh, I say I want to uh, delete. So I can say delete, for example, and then I, if I use the tab, uh, the double tab, you can see. It, uh, it gives me the options to specify what table I want to work in. So I can say DB delete uh, credentials, for example, and then it will ask me for the particular row ID I want. So again, you can see row IDs and in integer format, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So uh, let's take a look at the help menu. Sorry, let's take a look at the help menu here. Um, and uh, let's talk about uh, keys, right, which I'll show you how to use. Um, so again, uh, what I'll do is uh, let me just grab my Shodan API key here uh, and I'll just show you or I can just show you how to do this without. So I can say keys and then I can use the, da uh, the double tab here and we can add list. So if we list the current keys, you can see we have none. Uh, we'll get into keys when working with modules uh, in the next video. But for now, let's just focus on the syntax. Um, uh, and uh, if we list the options, 
So if we say options, you can see that we can now set options similar to Metasploit. And th this is more to do with modules. And again, that's all going to be in the next video. So, you know, just uh, just wait for that. Um, and then you have your PDB. So this starts a Python debugger session. This is if you're a, a developer, a plugin developer. Uh, by the way, I do have a plugin that I'm working for. I'm working on for Recon NG, so I will be updating you guys on that. And then, of, of course, you can uh, record and execute command scripts if you want to. And again, we take we took a look at the shell and how to execute shell commands outside the interactive console. Um, and if we just type in show, for example, you can see we can show various uh, pieces of data similar to what we had in a version four. So we can say show domains, and we hit enter. No data returned. If we say uh, let's see, show hosts. You can see that I have quite a few and I've been testing uh, various websites here that just so that I can actually uh, I can actually demonstrate the, the power of Recon NG. So you can see quite a lot of, a lot of data there. All right. So again, let's take a look at the show tool uh, just so that we can see the extent. So this just shows you all the data uh, in regards to uh, in regards to all the tables and the data stored within them. All right. Uh, now, you can also take snapshots of particular workspaces. So if we t say snapshots and uh, we use the uh, double tab, you can see we can uh, take a snapshot of this current um, of this current workspace. So I can say take and I hit enter. And uh, now if we say uh, list. You can see that we have that snapshot. And again, we can just hit delete and we can use the tab auto completion to delete the one that matches here and we hit enter and that should get rid of that workspace this is a really really great uh, you know for taking backups it's a good feature that uh, i i can see as uh, will be really useful in the future so that's pretty much all to do with the syntax now of course this gets a little bit more interesting when we're talking about modules and the reason i, ha I haven't covered the marketplace yet is because i want to cover that in the next video all right so i'll be seeing you